All right, here we go. Episode number three of Arte Agave Review. It's been great. So we have Altos today. Now, Altos is something that I see in New York City a lot. I see it. Um, a lot of the cocktail bars have it in there well, um, making cocktails with it. So to me, if a lot of the mixologists in New York City are using it in there well for cocktails, it's got to be relatively cheap. I think this is probably about $16, $17 retail maybe 15, so on-premise bars, maybe getting it for 12, 13 dollars, so that's pretty pretty cheap. Um, and if they're all using it, then, uh, you know, it's gotta be, have some pretty good quality to it. So what I wanna do is I wanna get right into it. What do I know about Altos a little bit? I think it's half traditional like Tohono Mill uh, and half like modern techniques. Um, a couple bartenders have put this together. Uh, it's, it's their company, so, um, I see it a lot, so I'm pretty curious. I've never really had it by itself. Um, so let's just give it a quick nose. Um, hmm, it's, um, it's bright, it's refreshing. Um, it's a little bit of a, I don't wanna say metallic smell to it, but kind of a, a metally steel. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to put it down. I haven't even tried this thing yet, um, but I get. I get some some fresh fruit notes in it as well. Actually, there's a lot. There's actually a lot on the nose here. Kind of some bright orange. Um, let's try it. Um, some of the brightness does come through. It does have some citrus notes to it as well. Um, pretty clean finish. Aftertaste, not so fun for me. Um, maybe it's that smell of that metallic that I'm kind of getting at, at the very end there. But in, in the beginning, it was very bright, very uh, refreshing. Um, just the ending is is not lingering very well for me. I, to me, I, I like to get that tequila taste. I like to get some spice along with it. So, um, but it's kind of like a fruit tree. I mean, the, the smell is a fruit tree. Bright peach, oranges, kind of really good tropical kind of notes to it. But like I said, for me, the it just kind of um, tails off at the end. Um, so maybe that's why it's fifteen dollars, fourteen dollars, thirteen dollars. Um, I do have a margarita here. Um, so if the bartenders in New York City are using it in cocktails, it's got to be pretty good in a cocktail. Um, Fifteen bucks, it's not that bad to me. So for me, you know, something like this at fifteen dollars, you're gonna get what you pay for, right? So if you're hosting a big party and you're on a tight budget. You might want to go for a bottle like this. To me, if you're going to be drinking all night long by yourself, I wouldn't have four or five of these. This could hurt you in the morning. Um, I'm sure the way they make it is is great, but let's see what happens in a cocktail. Ooh, that's good. Now, so the fresh fruit I have is I actually have a lemon tree and an orange tree. Um, so fresh citrus with the altos, dash of agave. Makes a fine margarita. Um, so kind of going back to it, like I said, it, it didn't overwhelm me with complexity, um, but for a price point, if you're hosting a party and you want to bring, bring in a big group and, and save a lot of money, um, this is probably the way to go and make it into a cocktail. Um, but you know, for me, having three or four, um, this could hurt. This could hurt the next day. So that's my take. Now I need to get, you know who I gotta bring in. I gotta bring in wifey. She's doing yoga. Um, again, I gave her a time frame. It's five o'clock. She's supposed to be here with me, um, but she's not. So I've summoned my daughter. My daughter is trying to get a hold of her um, to bring her in. We're going to put her palate to it. So Altos, 100% um, agave, um, which is always good. It says hand-picked agave on it. Uh, what does that mean? Handpicked, isn't it all handpicked? Um, I think it's all handpicked. Uh, if you don't, if you don't know and you don't believe me, Google it. It's all handpicked. There's no big machines that pick anything. So putting that on the bottle doesn't really impress me. Uh, <laughs> so I know this is in the highlands of Mexico, um, but here comes my number one palette. She's gonna come in 
and uh, help me with this. So, wifey just wrapped up some uh, yoga class, so she might be, yeah. Uh, M, I need your assistance here. We have a um, we have a plata tequila called Altos. So it doesn't matter. You come right in. You have the sunglasses on. Um, straight from yoga class outside. Uh, Blanco to Plata. Okay. Hand picked, it says. What does that mean? I thought it was all hand picked, the agaves. <laughs> um, I didn't oh. know there was a big machine that drove around like a big Zamboni that just sucks them up. Um, I don't think that's invented yet, but I could be wrong. So okay. we're gonna try it. Try it by itself. It's got a little burn to it. A little burn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not as uh. Not as not as smooth as I uh, would want it to be. Right. Right. But I bet you it would be really good in, in a fresh margarita. margarita. Yeah. So we man, we are on the same thing. Wow, you're looking. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, what, what, what are we talking about? Uh, you, margaritas. Uh, margaritas. margaritas. So anyway, margaritas. we were talking about um, Altos. I said the same thing. It, it yeah. lacks kind of complexity for me. Um, there was a little bit of burn. I had yeah, a little, I, I had a little drink, metallic. I wouldn't drink this straight out of the glass. This, I wouldn't. this would actually be a really good margarita, though, because it's got so much... Um, it has that kind of like intense burn to it that you kind of <laughs> need to cut through the citrus of a margarita. So let's try it. Yeah. Oh, that's limey. Limey. Yeah, that's limey. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's from the But tri- yeah, that's much um, yeah. smoother in there. Well, it's, I, I think it's like re- retail, like $15. Okay. Um, so pretty cheap. I see a lot of bars in New York City using it, so the bars are probably getting it for like $11, $12. Yeah. Um, so as I said before, you're kind of getting what you pay for, right? Yeah. Um, if you want something that's like you're going to be sipping all night long, I'd probably stay away from that. That would not be my first no. choice. No, be my first choice. not bad. It's not. No. It's not killing us. No. Um, but if you're hosting a big party and, and got a little bit of you know, a little bit of a budget happening, a bunch of people, yeah. grab a couple bottles, fresh citrus. Um, it's fantastic in a margarita. So you know, it's probably what they designed it for is you know, pre batch cocktails, um, things like that. So, yeah. The bottle itself is very appealing. It's pretty dope. Though. It's pretty dope, right? Yeah, kind of looks like, like an agave. Yeah. Um, agave itself, the way it's. Design. And it's it's very bartender friendly. Um, so at that price point, for what it really is, the bottle design, you can hold it, you can grip it. Um, it's actually very, very bartender friendly. So yeah. if a bar is getting it for like $11 and they're putting it in a margarita, um, it's probably going to work out very well for them. So um, it's Friday and it's like 5 o'clock right now. Yeah. Woo! What do we do? Is it... Is it happy hour time? I guess so. Happy hour time. Um, happy hour again. I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to sh- shoot it. Um, maybe there's a little bit left over here. So. Here, we'll just go like this. Watch. We'll just mix it together. Together. Let's get a little in there. Together. No, this is good. This is good. No, this is good. Here, get a. That's gonna make a mess. Alright, roll it up. At least the books are making a mess. I'll roll it. White Bees oh, whoops, used to really be a bartender bad. a very long time ago. So 5 o'clock, let's shoot this thing. All right. Uh, thanks, Altos. Um, there it is again, episode number three, Arte Agave Review. Trace, you're the best. Salud. There it is. Be safe, everybody. <laughs>